Hello friends, welcome to this session. In today's session, we'll see how you can set up self-hosted Windows GitHub Action Runner on AWS EC2 in private subnet. So we'll follow this diagram to set up our resources. We'll need a GitHub account, which needs to be accessed. We'll be working from our laptop. And in AWS, we'll create a VPC, two subnets, one public subnet, one private subnet. Then we'll provision one Bastion VM so that we can RDP into our Windows Git Runner VM. And this Windows VM will connect to GitHub through Net Gateway. So we'll provision Net Gateway as well. For this session, I already have a VPC, public subnet and private subnet created. Briefly, you'll see how to create a Windows GitHub Runner, a Bastion VM, and how to provision Net Gateway. And next step, we'll see how to configure GitHub Runner on this Windows box. And the final step will be to see how it gets connected to GitHub. So let's get started. So we'll log into AWS console. Under Instances, we'll click on Launch Instances. We'll give it a name. We'll select a one OS image, Windows-based. I will go with the free tier eligible one. Instance type, I'll select T2 medium. Key pair, I already have one. You can create new one if needed. In network settings, we'll select VPC and the private subnet. I already have security group, so I will create one. I will assign this one GitHub Runner security group and rest I will leave it as default and launch instance. This will take a couple of minutes to launch. In meantime, we will launch our Bastion VM as well. Now our Windows GitHub Runner VM is ready and it has passed the checks. I've also created Bastion VM. It is also Windows based. The only difference is the security group attached to Windows GitHub Runner allows RDP connection from Bastion and Bastion VM will be in public subnet so that we can connect to Bastion and through Bastion we will connect to Windows GitHub Runner VM. Now we will provision Net Gateway. So we will go to VPC, Net Gateway, create Net Gateway and we will give a name and then we will select subnet. It has to be public subnet because Net Gateway will be in public subnet and we have to allocate an elastic IP and then create Net Gateway. Okay, our net gateway is ready now. We'll attach it to our private routes. So we'll go to route tables, private route. This is a subnet where our VM is running. And we'll add a route for anyone to connect to net gateway. So now our private VMs can communicate through net gateway to GitHub. Now we will RDP to our Bastion VM. So go back to Windows Instances, click on Bastion VM and you see it has got a public IP and private IP, public IP, private IP. You use this public IP to start the RDP connection. Now for username password, if you click here on connect RDP client, it tells you you should use username administrator and you can get the password by clicking here and providing your private key which you attach to the VM when you created it and decrypt password and you will get a password so I've already done this step and if you see here I have RDP'd into Bastion VM and within that again I RDP'd into our private VM I realized that the RDP screen was actually bigger than my recording screen so I have just resized it and now you can see this is the Bastion VM and within that this one is our GitHub Runner Windows VM. Now to configure stuff on this VM first we need to go to our GitHub account and in our org I will go to settings under actions runners and runner groups so under runner groups I will actually create a new runner group by name windows and under runners when I click on new runner new self-hosted runner Windows it gives me steps what needs to be done to configure GitHub Runner so first is to 
create this folder. So copy. We'll go to the VM, start PowerShell as administrator. And you can go to C drive, run this command. So the folder is created now. So action that folder is created. Now I will get the next step is to download so it's downloading the zip file action under version is 306 okay so the zip file is downloaded we'll go check the next command this is just to validate the hash we can still run it's optional make sure that whatever we downloaded is right so that's good and then next command is to extract it so if you see it has extracted these folders and some files and now we'll see how to configure and start this runner so next is to configure so the first step is to start the runner for configuration and it will ask you stuff which you will provide so it's authenticating github now and you can see it was able to reach github through net gateway and now it is asking for the runner group if yours is not enterprise github account then you have to press enter to get to default group but i have created a windows group so i will enter that and then the name of the runner you can provide a name i will just go with the default any labels you want to add you can add that i will go with the defaults now runner is successfully added now it is asking what working directory the runner should use you can provide a different drive and different folder but i will go with the default and whether you want to run the runner as a service or you want to run as interactive mode where you will start it manually so for this session I will not start it as a service and I will press no so it has just configured and it will not start the runner for starting the runner I will use a second command here enter and this should be actually starting the runner and if you see here current runner version is listing for jobs if we go to github and actions runners and you can see here this was the runner name windows and it's in idle state waiting for jobs i hope this helps it is very easy to configure github runner on windows in my next session i will show you how to do the same things using script so that you don't need to follow individual steps you can just run a script on a vm and it will download and configure the runner whenever required thank you so much for watching the session and we'll see you in the next one thank you